Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Writing in Biological Science. But today, we are not talking about writing, we're talking about the science laboratory technologies or science laboratory sciences. So, who is a science laboratory technology slash scientist? I'm, I've made the first part of this video where I talked about who is a, who is a, who a science laboratory technology is. But there was a part two of that video where so it's a 49 minutes long video that my brother, Mr. Anthony, talked so much about. However, I keep getting questions about what the issues that have been addressed in that video. I understand the video is 49 minutes long, so you may not be able to get to the end. So I'll be making videos to answer some of the questions to buttress more on those points that Mr. Anthony talked about. So in today's video, I'll be answering two questions. I'm going to start with who a science laboratory technologist is and the options available in the science laboratory technology as a course. So let's get down to it. Who is a science laboratory technology? I'm not going to give you a specific definition. I'm sure you already know who a science laboratory technologist is, but I will start like this. You no, know, the science world is vast and is divided, is 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 really vast. And as you know, as science, science makes what discoveries. Scientists make discoveries. And to test those discoveries, you need to do hands-on practicals to evaluate those discoveries, to test the possibility and the viability and the accuracy of those studies. That is where the laboratory technology comes in. Um, I hope you now understand where you come in as a science laboratory technology or a science laboratory scientist. Your job is to be in the laboratory. Laboratory is your kitchen where you cook up or analyze or come up with findings and hypotheses that will with hands-on practicals. So I don't want to talk too much into so I'll make this video very, very long, but I'm, 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 I hope you understand with this simple illustration I have given. So the science library technology is a professional course. So it's a, it's a professional course that requires you to be in the laboratory. And for you to be for you to be in the laboratory, you have to be licensed. So we are licensed. We are licensed by the National Institute of Science Laboratory Technologies. We it is not a short course. The science laboratory technology is not a short course. It is a course that is done the academic institution like every other courses in the university. So there is no inferior course or there is no bigger course. It's a professional course that you have to embrace so much. We are given a license to practice laboratory to do laboratory practice by the National Institute of Science Laboratory Technology, like I mentioned before. And the governing body is the Association of Science Laboratory Technology of Nigeria. So you if you study SLT, you can either be called a technician, a technologist, or a scientist, depending on where you did your study or your level of study. If you do your study in a monotechnic or in the polytechnic, you yeah, if you do your study in the monotechnic or in the polytechnic, you can you're either give an ND or a HND. So if you are an ND holder of SLT, you are called a technician and you're licensed to practice as a technician. If you study HND in SLT HND, you are licensed as a technologist. You're a technologist and you're licensed to practice as a technologist but if you study in the university you are a scientist and you are licensed to practice as a scientist the interesting thing about being a science laboratory technologist is the fact that we are both scientists and engineers sort of just like mr anthony said yes we are both scientists and engineers as a scientist we are taught to we are taught the science of yeah, we are taught to apply research and make discoveries and as engineers, we are taught to apply those things we've studied. So we can do research and we can also apply those research. You, we, we, if you agree with me, most SLT that are great, you agree with me that there's a course called the GLT, General Library Technology, that is only done by SLT graduates in universities or Polytechnic and Polytechnic that incorporates physics, electronics, maintenance and repair and instrumentation meaning that we 
uh, we are qualified to do maintenance and repair on machineries and the apparatus you use in the laboratory and we are also trained in the class about the old science of the old science of whatever course we choose so you can choose to specialize in different areas which takes me to the next question what are the options available for the science laboratory technology so i have listed a lot down and from research i've done a wide research i'm going to be listing so many so we have the different options available in science library technology is biochemistry chemistry biochemistry chemistry medical biochemistry pure and industrial chemistry pure and applied chemistry agricultural technology virology technology microbiology technology nursing technology we have the anatomy and pharmacology physiology laboratory technology geology and mining technology mining science technology mining engineering technology mineral resources laboratory technology microbiology laboratory technology biology technology biology and biotechnology industrial chemistry petrochemical laboratory technology food science technology so these are, are many more that i didn't mention are the options available to study in slt so it is a very wide course that covers the area of science just think of science and the areas that we need laboratories you can specialize in any of these courses and the good the, the best thing is that you can specialize to master's level even in p to phd level in your choice of specialization in your, in your study area so we'll be talking more on that as we progress in this video so please share this video to other science library technology students who will find this video useful thank you very much see you another time